everyone, this is Julie with Keeping It Real with Randy and Julie. Tonight we are having, what Randy? Shrimp scampi. <laughs> yes, so right now Randy is cutting up the cherry tomatoes. And then over here we have the water starting to get boiled for the linguine. And then we have, what is this, garlic butter? Sea salt? Uh, olive oil and sea salt. Show them what that is. Good old Land of Lakes. Randy loves that stuff. I do. So we have that going and then we're going to put some um, garlic knot bread in the oven. Mm, can you smell that? Okay, keep watching. Okay, now we got the asparagus and um, we're gonna add asparagus. I know some people don't like asparagus, but we really like it. And we like it in our shrimp. <laughs> what is it? Shrimp shampi. Shrimp <laughs> what, what did I say? Shrimp shampi. <laughs> <laughs> shrimp scampi. And on this, you don't use the whole asparagus because it gets tough down there at the bottom. So just the tip, I promise. Just the tips. So we have asparagus, cherry tomatoes all cut up. We got the shrimp. Um, getting ready. We got the linguine. We're fixing to put in the boiling water. We got the marinara sauce. We like to warm that up, so we like to dip our bread in marinara sauce, and it has to be hot marinara sauce, like warm. Um, and then we got the pan going to put the vegetables and the shrimp in. Okay, so I'm sauteing the asparagus in the uh, Lander Lakes sea salt and olive oil butter and I added some just regular olive oil and now I'm fixing to add the shrimp and when I do this I go easy I just get the already cooked deveined shrimp tail on you just it's frozen so you just put Run some cold water in there, let it defrost for 10, 15 minutes, you're good to go. So, <clears throat> we're gonna try something new tonight. This is a McCormick Shrimp Skimpy Garlic Butter uh, Seasoning. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that. This is the first time we've tried this. Okay. See how that is. Good? All right, the garlic knots are going in at 350. So they're golden brown and then you the dip them in that sauce mm -mm -mm. good good asparagus is getting good and tender with olive oil and the, uh, the sea salt and olive oil butter i'm fixing to add the tomatoes and the shrimp hey, what about get the... this going and there's our hey. little helper presley hi say hi <laughs> Hey, psst. Psst, psst. Can't see your box. Can't see your box. Look at that shrimp. That looks so good. There's no way I can cook with that much lattice. <laughs> Are you a grandbaby? Or my grandbaby. <laughs> Are you <laughs> daughter-in-law? Say hi, Nina. Hi. <laughs> Or an oven. Okay. Let's check the rolls. Let's see these rolls. Mm, they, roll roll. they smell really, really good. I think they're pretty close. Okay. Don't know. Whenever you're cooking pasta, just put you a little bit of olive oil in, or any kind of oil. Vegetable oil will do the same thing. That way, it'll keep the pasta from sticking together. One of those are already open because I like to eat raw noodles, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> Let me get over here so we can see. Asparagus with butter. He's putting in the linguine. Marina marinara. <laughs> Marinara sauce is getting warm. The rows are in the oven. Hey, that fire looks red. 
like purple, hot pink on the camera. I agree. Didn't. It's like you had a neon club. <laughs> <laughs> get it, brother, get it. <laughs> She's dancing. Okay. Time to crank this back up. I'm going to put shrimp in. And the mater. Okay, what are we doing now here? Oops, I'm making a mess. All right, asparagus is ready. I mean, uh, Ooh, I think those rolls are done. Right. They're golden brown. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, y'all should smell it. it. Smells like an Italian kitchen in here. Sauce. Okay. Get that warm and hot for the rolls. Got the asparagus. Got the noodles. Randy's fixing to dump the shrimp. the shrimp. Oops. Shrimp over. All right, we're gonna try this new seasoning. You just sprinkle that on top. And sprinkle it on top. Stir it in. Get some lemon and maters. So cool. Squeeze some lemon in there. And how long did this take to All prep together, and make? About, if I was doing it, about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Not bad for a meal. Add the tomatoes. Mmm, does that look good, Nina? Yeah, they too. Let me just taste one out for you. <laughs> That's a tomato. <laughs> That's a tester. All right. So, how long do you let that simmer? Not very long at all, because the shrimp is already cooked. All it needs to do is warm up and everything blend together. And you just, after the linguine gets done, you just pour you that pour over, over and sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Yep. Ooh, that's good. That is coming together nicely. Okay, what do we say about this meal? Oh, hold on, we gotta get the final, the plated. The one with the plate and everything, yeah, the all yeah, fixed? The plated version, so. Okay, see what it looks like after it's all done. All right, then, keep watching. Huh? And then we'll tell you how it tastes. That's right. That's good. Okay. Okay, we are ready to plate. Plate number one. That is beautiful right there. Mm. How about that, folks? Look at that meal, y'all. Shrimp, asparagus, tomatoes, linguine. Mmm. Now we're going to put it on the table. And we're going to try this out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Nina is going to taste this and see how she likes it. Well, they're all riots, but it's Donald Trump's fault. I mean, do black lives really matter? <laughs> she lost all her needles. 
a long time ago. <laughs> that good? It's good. Randy? I am. I give it. Uh, what? A uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> like, could be in an Italian restaurant. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Well, what do you say? Good? I outdid myself. Okay. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and like, or subscribe to us and hit that like button. Thank y'all. Bye. See you next time.